step back in time to 1978 when Return from Witch Mountain graced the screens. This family-friendly sci-fi flick takes you on a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and sad moments. Do you recall which character stole the spotlight for you? Or when you first got captivated by this movie? With a plot full of twists, turns, and unexpected surprises, it has something for everyone. As the story unfolds, you'll find yourself on the edge of your seat, eager to discover what happens next. So, who was your favorite among the roles in this classic? And when did you first experience the magic of this timeless gem? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more fun facts and memories. This sequel to Escape to Witch Mountain proves to be a commendable follow-up, featuring the return of Tony and Tia, played by Ike Eisenman and Kim Richards, respectively. The story unfolds as the siblings arrive in Los Angeles, embarking on a vacation. A chance encounter with a cab driver and a peculiar vision sets them on a path intersecting with the characters Letha and Victor, portrayed by Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. Letha and Victor are engaged in testing a mind control device, which takes an unexpected turn when Tony displays his extraordinary powers. In gratitude for Tony's intervention in saving a man's life, they decide to kidnap him. Meanwhile, Tia, left alone, befriends a group of preteen kids known as the Earthquake Gang. Despite their tough appearance, the gang's intentions reveal a more compassionate side as they assist Tia in the search for her brother. The plot thickens as Victor and Letha exploit Tony's abilities for their nefarious purposes. Letha aims for financial gain by attempting to steal a substantial amount of gold from a museum, while Victor harbors aspirations of world domination, manipulating Tony to take over a plutonium processing plant. Tia intervenes, leading to a confrontation between the siblings, leaving the resolution open-ended for viewers to discover. While not deemed the pinnacle of sequels, especially within the Disney realm, Return from Witch Mountain manages to surpass expectations. The recent remastering in THX Dolby 5.1 surround sound enhances the viewing experience, making it more enjoyable for audiences. Amidst Hollywood connections, the movie weaves into the cinematic web, linking back to Eddie Albert through a unique thread. Notably, Albert shared the screen with a Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan actor in a 1975 film. This collaboration adds an extra layer of connection within the entertainment industry. Meanwhile, the legendary Elizabeth Taylor, known for her roles, made a memorable reference to Betty Davis in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Taylor comically imitated Davis, quoting a line from Beyond the Forest, What a dump! Davis, however, clarified in an interview with Barbara Walters that her original delivery in Beyond the Forest was more subtle. Despite this, Davis acknowledged the enduring popularity of Taylor's exaggerated version and playfully embraced it in her live performances, showcasing her wit and adaptability. Delving into the Hammer Dracula film legacy, an interesting absence emerges. In two out of nine Dracula films produced by Hammer, the iconic vampire is notably missing. The initial omission in a 1960 film resulted from concerns about potential salary hikes. Later, Christopher Lee chose not to partake in a 1974 film after evaluating the script. This decision underscored Lee's commitment to quality and his selective approach to roles within the Dracula saga. As the narrative unfolds, viewers witness the return of Tony and Tia, portrayed by Ike Eisenman and Kim Richards, respectively. The siblings find themselves entangled in a plot involving mind control and a sinister duo, Letha and Victor, portrayed by Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. The story takes unexpected turns, involving Tony's extraordinary abilities and a gang of preteen allies known as the Earthquake Gang. The tension escalates as Victor and Letha exploit Tony's powers for their nefarious pursuits, leading to a climactic confrontation between the siblings. In conclusion, the movie not only offers a family-friendly sci-fi experience, but also creates connections within the entertainment industry. From Hollywood collaborations to legendary imitations, it transcends its genre, leaving a lasting impact on the cinematic landscape. In the cinematic sequel, Return from Witch Mountain, the extraordinary siblings, Tony and Tia, portrayed by Ike Eisenman and Kim Richards, respectively, find themselves in Los Angeles for an unexpected vacation. A chance encounter with a cab driver and a peculiar vision sets them on a collision course with the characters Letha and Victor, brought to life by Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. The duo is deeply engaged in testing a mind control device, with Tony's exceptional powers becoming the focal point of their dubious experiment. 
Meanwhile, Tia, left to navigate the city alone, forms an alliance with a group of preteen allies known as the Earthquake Gang. Despite their initially tough exterior, the gang reveals a more compassionate side as they join forces with Tia in the quest to reunite with her brother. The plot thickens as Victor and Letha exploit Tony's extraordinary abilities for their nefarious pursuits. Letha aims for financial gain by orchestrating the theft of a substantial amount of gold from a museum, while Victor harbors aspirations of world domination, manipulating Tony to take control of a plutonium processing plant. The tension escalates, leading to a climactic confrontation between the siblings. The resolution is deliberately left open-ended, inviting viewers to draw their conclusions about the fate of Tony and Tia. Return from which mountain may not be considered the pinnacle of sequels, especially within the Disney domain. However, the recent remastering in THX Dolby 5.1 surround sound enhances the viewing experience, making it more enjoyable for audiences. The movie not only offers a family-friendly sci-fi experience, but also weaves connections within the entertainment industry. Intriguingly, the movie intertwines with Hollywood connections, linking back to Eddie Albert through a unique thread. Albert's collaboration with a Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan actor in a 1975 film adds an extra layer of connection within the entertainment industry. Additionally, the legendary Elizabeth Taylor's comical imitation of Betty Davis in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf adds a touch of humor to the cinematic web. As the narrative unfolds, viewers witness the return of Tony and Tia portrayed by Ike Eisenman and Kim Richards, respectively. The siblings find themselves entangled in a plot involving mind control and a sinister duo, Letha and Victor, portrayed by Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. The story takes unexpected turns involving Tony's extraordinary abilities and a gang of preteen allies known as the Earthquake Gang. In conclusion, Return from Witch Mountain manages to surpass expectations, offering a family-friendly sci-fi experience while leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic scene. In Return from Witch Mountain, the extraordinary siblings, Tony and Tia, find themselves in Los Angeles for an unexpected vacation. A chance encounter with a cab driver and a peculiar vision sets them on a collision course with the characters Letha and Victor, played by Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. The duo is deeply engaged in testing a mind control device, using Tony's exceptional powers as the focal point of their dubious experiment. As Tia navigates the city alone, she forms an alliance with a group of preteen allies known as the Earthquake Gang. Despite their initially tough exterior, the gang reveals a more compassionate side as they join forces with Tia in the quest to reunite with her brother. The plot thickens as Victor and Letha exploit Tony's extraordinary abilities for their nefarious pursuits. Letha aims for financial gain by orchestrating the theft of a substantial amount of gold from a museum, while Victor harbors aspirations of world domination, manipulating Tony to take control of a plutonium processing plant. The tension escalates, leading to a climactic confrontation between the siblings. The resolution is deliberately left open-ended, inviting viewers to draw their conclusions about the fate of Tony and Tia. Despite not reaching the pinnacle of sequels, especially within the Disney domain, the recent remastering in THX Dolby 5.1 surround sound enhances the viewing experience, making it more enjoyable for audiences. Return from which Mountain manages to offer a family-friendly sci-fi experience while weaving connections within the entertainment industry. Hollywood connections come to the forefront, linking back to Eddie Albert through a unique thread. Albert's collaboration with a Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan actor in a 1975 film adds an extra layer of connection within the entertainment industry. Additionally, the legendary Elizabeth Taylor's comical imitation of Betty Davis in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf adds a touch of humor to the cinematic web. As the narrative unfolds, viewers witness the return of Tony and Tia, portrayed by Ike Eisenman and Kim Richards, respectively. The siblings find themselves entangled in a plot involving mind control and a sinister duo, Letha and Victor, portrayed by Betty Davis and Christopher Lee. In conclusion, the movie surpasses expectations, offering a family-friendly sci-fi experience while leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic scene. The exploration of mind control, extraordinary abilities, and unexpected alliances adds depth to the storyline, making it a noteworthy addition to the world of sequels.